Yeah. Welcome to Get Your Popcorn Ready. It's your host. It's your hatch. <clears throat> it's your hatch. Oh, yeah. Your hatch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Welcome to Get Your Popcorn Ready. It's your host, Hatch, and your boy, T.O., in the building. Be sure to subscribe on the Himalaya app or wherever you get your podcasts. And be sure to swipe up and subscribe and share all those S's. Remember those three S's. Swipe up, Mm -hmm. subscribe, Mm -hmm. and share. Why? Because sharing, sharing is, is caring. caring. That's right. On Get Your Popcorn Ready. Today, we have a guy, Keenan Allen, coming in the building. Los Angeles Chargers. LH. Is it just LA? I think you can't even say Los Angeles. I think it's just LA Chargers. Really? I think, I think it is. Oh, the LA Chargers? Because it's, it's not- Los Angeles Rams. It can't be the Los Angeles Chargers? I don't think so. I think it's LA Chargers and the Los Angeles Rams. So somebody, yeah, somebody give us that info. Oh, somebody, wow, that's, um, yeah, that's let us know for getting that I wrong. Didn't know. But yes, coming to this to the show today, Keenan Allen, three time Pro Bowl, last three years made it to the Pro Bowl, mm-hmm. going on his eighth year as a wide receiver for the L.A. Chargers. Mm-hmm. Uh, used to be San Diego Chargers. Uh, again, I put him in my top five in the NFL right now as receivers. Okay, and I think we can go. We, let's go. Let's make a list today. Right? Let's go over. Try to make a list today. See see who, who his top five is today. I too. know my, my top three. Four that 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 would be um, Julio, mm-hmm. uh, A B. Got you can't D- put A B in there yeah, anymore though. Cause yeah, we don't know if he's gonna play though. He's not out of the league yet completely. Yeah. They haven't banned him from the league yet, so he, he close. Well, close is only <laughs> he close. good in horseshoes. <laughs> and, and, um, and, DeAndre, and, yeah, DeAndre Hop, Hop, right? Yep, yep. And then I throw uh, throw Odell in there, mm-hmm. and yeah. Mike Thomas. Mike Thomas, there it is. That's all right. We go. We go see if he agree with you. We go see when I he, think when that's he a come pr- on. That's a pretty solid but list. But you, you know, you just didn't put him in there though. Well, I mean, I'll, so if you take A B out, Keenan is now in your okay, top five. Can, is okay, that fair? I'll insert. Yeah, I'll insert. That's why Kenan. I don't want A B in there. Keenan, I'm trying to put right. him in my top five, young fella. You what you got to think saying? about? A lot of people don't really know who Keenan Allen is. It's just like you. Nobody really knows who wow. you are. Wow. Can't, you hear that? You hear that, my man? He go, Nobody knows who you wow. are, Hatch. You know what? King of the jungle, though. <laughs> what jungle? The, hey. <laughs> what jungle? Is, is the lion... The, is the lion the smartest of the jungle? No. Is he the biggest of the jungle? No. So what is, is the lion the tallest of the jungle? No. no. But when he comes into the jungle, everybody know he is king. So yes, you have more Twitter followers. Well, okay. I'll yes, like, you have more Instagram followers. But when I come up in this piece, I am king. That's all right. You be the hear you, me roar. You can be the lion. I be the elephant. Y'all can't fuck with the <laughs> elephant, boy. Y'all can't fuck with no elephant, boy. Trying to hear all that. Can't fuck Get with no. Popcorn elephant. ready, coming on next. Yeet. Welcome to Get Your Popcorn Ready podcast show. We got our man, woo, Keenan Allen in the building. In the building. What's happening? What's happening? Get to get to talk some football today, man. About I know. time. I'm a basketball guy. I don't know what you guys do. Don't, you know what don't, I mean? don't know. I was, no, I, I'm a basketball not. guy that played today. football. You know I, what I mean? We done been in the celebrity games together. I seen him going. <laughs> you are so you what? already know. So you game recognized games. Okay, okay. Not not how many times did he shoot? How many times did he pass the ball? Oh. How about that? Minimal. <laughs> that minimal, minimal see, you ain't time. a play. You can't be selfish. That's what, he was going for the shoot. MVP. You can't do that. You can't right, do but that. that's what me and Kobe do. We what shoot. Stop <laughs> putting you me and Kobe, Kobe in the same shoot, though. That's sentence. What, what does this say, man? There Dear is basketball. no we. <laughs> Dear basketball. <laughs> there that's is what, no we. What are you talking about? We. That's what me and we Kobe. There we is shoot. No we. See this we guy. We shoot, dog. Anyway. Anyway, hey, he shoot, we, he, he pass a little bit. You know what I mean? Can, play, can, play, can you, play can you above. Dunk? Yeah, he can play I above. No, we, we right, play, we, we play above the rim, oh, dog. Come on, we, dog. You play. No, you can't. Even, you're, First of all, no, no. He, no, he's seen it. He's seen it for himself. I ain't okay. really got to talk about this. This is all this right. is his time. This is all his right. show. Anyway, so let, let's uh, let's 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 go back a little bit to uh, yeah, high school, man. Like mm-hmm. I said, when when's your first dunk in high school then? Oh, I dunked in middle school. I think. All right, so Ooh, always an athlete, so always an athlete. Yeah, right? big athlete. I dunked. Uh, summer going into high school, I think it was. Okay, man, that's crazy. So you from man. Greensboro, right, North Greensboro, Carolina. Carolina? What, what made real you? Hoop is that? You know the saying? real hoop is that. Okay. <laughs> um, what made you come out to the West Coast for college? Then how that process? Uh, wait, yeah. wait, what? What a real hoop was that? Absolutely. 
Go ahead. Who tell them who from there? Tell them who from. So many. Uh, Chris Paul. We start there. Uh, yeah, okay, I get you. Yeah, that's Check. The best Chris point Paul. guard ever, right? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, MJ. Check. Check. <laughs> yeah, Should I say any more? Okay, okay, well, yeah. we're gonna end it right there. Okay, yeah, okay, I okay. okay I, I but, hey, but next time you start that list with MJ, don't yeah, you? Yeah, that was my bad. Okay, my bad. okay. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, my bad. Um, but yeah, how the recruiting process, you know, go to get you out to California to play yeah. college? Um, so I was actually committed to uh, Alabama mm -hmm. to play free safety, and uh, my brother was already in college at the time at University of Buffalo. Okay, and uh, Turner Gill actually transferred from that school with the Kansas, and uh, he wanted to transfer as well. And um, uh, Jeff Tafford. Yeah, uh, Tafford, yeah. Big yeah. quarterback coach. Big, yep. uh, had a lot of great guys with him. And um, at the time, I was just like, hey, bro, wherever you want to go, I'm I'm good with it. Nice, um, nice. Just my mindset, and uh, I think I'm, I'm going to make it out. So right. we can go wherever. So what was your, how many, you know, now nowadays they have stars and all that. When we was coming out, there was, I don't even know if five star was a thing, but you know, the media was a big thing when you was coming out. What, uh, how many stars did you have? I was five star. Five star, okay. Yeah. okay. Dang, five Number one star? free safety in the nation. Okay. That's what, yeah, that's what I'm, so, I'm looking at this So what stuff. made you switch positions then? Uh, the Army All-American game, okay. played only free safety. Yeah, uh, didn't touch the ball at all. I was like, nah, this ain't. This it. Ain't, I can't, it. ain't no way I'm helping right? the team. Playmaker, I can't be helping baby. the team. I need the ball. Need the ball in your so, hands. Yeah. Absolutely. I need what, to play off well, you got to be a ball hawk. You, you, maybe you weren't as good as a defensive hey, guy as you were. Away from me, man. <laughs> oh, away from you me. play they, free they safety. Me, but I was at uh, I was at strong safety. I'm in the box. They had me okay. dropping hook curl. Right. Like man, I'm, I'm, first of all, side. I'm uncomfortable. Right. Right. Playing right. hook curl. I can't see what's behind me. Right. I don't like it. So <laughs> let me get the ball. Okay, <laughs> yeah, ball, yeah. Please. Hey, every seems receiver like wants the ball. Yeah, it seems like yeah. you made a great choice. Absolutely. That's, okay, so you got the you get the cow. Um, so when did you cross over? Like you, you came in as a freshman, you started playing receiver. Yeah. How'd that go? Uh, uh, as soon as I got there, play receiver. Mm -hmm. um, I got there a little bit early, not not spring ball, but um, a little bit earlier than training camp. Right, got, right. got to be like with uh, June, yeah, Marvin training. Jones, Jeremy Ross, them boys. Mm -hmm. um, Marv really just took me under his wing, taught me the offense, and once we started fall camp, I was on go. Mm -hmm. There it is. Who was y'all's quarterback at Cal at that time? Uh, Kevin Riley. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There it Kevin is. Riley. You can throw a little bit to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So let's say your freshman, sophomore, junior, so you only spent three years, yeah. right? You didn't, you know, go your senior year. So when did you know in college, you're like, okay, I'm pretty good. I can make it to the NFL. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, after my sophomore season. Okay. Um, just kind of just went crazy. Me and Marv, uh, we think we both went 4,000. Mm -hmm. I had like, um, I don't want to get too crazy. I think I had eight to nine touchdowns. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. And it, it, all big games was against the big teams, USC, Oregon, uh, Washington. That always helps. Them was all my, all the big games, 150-plus against them boys. I'm like, man. Oh, man. I think it's time. Man, <laughs> you're a pretty pretty good receiver in yeah, college. You know. Better than me. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you, you, was a third, you was a third rounder, too. Yeah, third rounder. You was a third rounder. Yeah. Third rounder. Yeah. Man, with all those numbers, those against those big schools? Yeah. So what made what? – Oh, but tell them about – well, you got, you got yeah, injured. I got injured. Oh, that's what I was about to year. Junior season. Right. Um Ninth game of the season, got injured, uh, PCL, mm -hmm. tore it. So, um, so that made I guess they that's a so scared. yeah, that's yeah. so crazy, man. How an injury can make you drop. Oh, in yeah. the draft, yeah, I was actually the number one receiver on the board at the time. Wow, and still, then I got picked. Uh, I think, <sighs> but that's like a big twelve drop. receiver. But, but that's a big wow. drop, though, to think you can go like from first to second round yeah. to like third round. I'm watching it. I'm I'm devastated looking at this stuff. I'm like, man, what's up, man? So going right, exactly. So <laughs> I'm so, still good, yeah, man. Yeah, right. Yeah. So knowing that obviously you had recovered from the PCL mm -hmm. injury, I know in your mind you're like, okay, you're gonna be 100. percent But yeah. then it's you know that's what these teams do. General managers, owners, if they're not gonna, they they don't want to pay you that money. They feel like they can get a bargain, which I'm sure they did. You know, going getting you going from like top you know top rounds in the first or second round, then down to a third rounder. How did that? You know, going into the draft, uh, obviously you got drafted uh, by the Chargers. Did that? Did you go into the season with kind of a, a chip on your Absolutely. shoulder? Absolutely. I wanted to make all of them pay. Yeah. They're going to pay for this. I'm about to show y'all what's really going on. I still got it. Right. R right? Rookie of the year? Just kept playing with that chip. Yeah. All rookie team? Yeah. All that, right? Yeah. yeah. It was balling. <laughs> so let me, let me go back to when, like I said, that when you got injured, right? That's probably the first time in your life you was like, what's going on? Yeah. Right? A little bit of... All my dreams are shattered, you know. Like, how did that? How how'd you feel when that was going on? Um, just keep fighting, really. Um, just didn't want to give up. Didn't want to let anybody down. Still, um, it did happen. I only missed three games, two and a half games. 
So um, I still felt good about everything. Still felt good about going to the NFL. Still wanted to come out early. Uh, still thought the resume was solid. And then after that, it was just the rehab process of getting back to where I was. And um, yeah, just making sure that I did everything that I could do. So when you was rehabbing, you was like, I, I got to have it. Because again, it's, go, yeah. it's the first time you've ever been injured. Yeah, you absolutely. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like for at that point of your career, first time, it's like, what if I'm not working hard enough? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What if I'm not doing what it takes to be mm -hmm. in the NFL now? Like all those things are kind of be scared yeah. you know a scary moment for you so it's like those those couple weeks or those couple months it's like the mindset oh, it was tough really yeah and with the pcl you can i couldn't really walk upstairs so i'm like man when am i gonna be able to walk like regular? <laughs> right, <laughs> like right, what's right. up <laughs> so I'm, I'm just sitting there doing single leg press to yeah. my joint get straight so right. just making sure that i was like i said getting back to where i was so yeah, so that's what that's like. So like you're a comeback, you know, type of year. And I see 2017, you got AP NFL Comeback Player of the Year. Tell me a little bit about 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 that that process of of being the comeback player of the year. A little bit of the same thing. Uh, this time it was the ACL. Mm -hmm. Right. Same um, knee. Oh, what, same, I can't remember. I can't remember either. Okay, that's good. Though. <laughs> that's good. That's uh, right. Yeah, right. but yeah, because yeah. I, yeah. I, no, I right, yeah, right. Yep. Yeah, it was the right. Yeah. So I'm same. right now. I'm doing some rehab. I had an ACL injury, um, uh, so I went and had surgery. So just let the listeners know out there, like, yeah. what is that process like? You know, because mentally, like I said, it could be. It could be a downer. Yeah, you know that I mean, was, there yeah. could be a lot of uncertainty because, like I said, depending on how you rehab, depends on really how quick and how fast you're mm -hmm. able to get back on the field and be productive. Yeah, that was one of the uh, – that probably was the toughest thing that I've ever been through. It's the ACL. Um, everybody doubting you. Uh, mm -hmm. Feel like you ain't even – Living ain't no more, there, you ain't no. even there to the team, and they they ain't calling you no more. We ain't hanging out with the guys no more. They don't even want to want to see you like that. Um, it's tough, man. You just got to battle. Uh, my Kobe uh, actually talked to the team that year, and um, he after he came off his uh, Achilles, and he said one of the things he did was uh, just made sure that he did everything that he could to prevent it. You know, outside of what he can't control. Um, so just weight room rehab. So I'm like, all right, bet. That's all I gotta do. Man, let's go. I, I gotta, I just gotta keep working. So that was, uh, so Kobe was a uh, kind of inspiration, motivation Absolutely. for you Absolutely. to push through mm -hmm. with what you had to go through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Absolutely. that's ma that's major. So again, but after that, like I said, these last three years, you've been on point. Yeah, right. Been balling, uh, like Pro Bowl, all that. Uh, you become a free agent next year. Yeah. So shoot, I know you. I know you're seeing them numbers. Absolutely. I know you. <laughs> Absolute <laughs> numbers too. They right, did. We got right. to get a new deal. So right, right, CBA, right. We gonna see what that's talking about. Yeah. Speaking of the CBA, what are your what are your thoughts on uh, the progress thus far with the CBA and kind of just you know what what do you think is gonna happen you know from this point moving forward? Um, I ain't really sure. I know um, Pouncy, the Pouncy twins, you know they they stay really involved with it. He actually sent us a message yesterday just to read through what was going on so everybody know. But uh, I ain't a big fan of what they got going on right now. I will say that. Um, they as in? The NFL, PA, okay. CBA, who, okay, you know right, saying, right. What, what, Who's supposed to have you guys' back. Exactly. You know I mean? and, and they say it's supposed to be, uh, or what, what they preach all the time, player safety. Right. But you want to add games. Add a game, and, right. And so, yeah. how, can, how can that be player safety? You know? It ain't. So it's just. That 17th game, yeah, they don't, people like the, the outside looking in, like, oh, it's just one game. Yeah, like, y'all don't understand. We're barely making it to 16 we games right now. barely making it to 16. And, right. not, and not, most of them don't make it to 16. Yeah, facts. Yep. That's a, facts. It's a blessing to get to 16 games in a row, play all, all the right. 16 games every week. And a lot of pro bowlers don't even do it. So. Facts, right. facts. So speaking of uh, the pouncy twin off their, their reps, mm -hmm. For I guess for the union, yeah. uh, for the players, um, do you think they're doing uh, a great job of, of educating the younger, the new guys coming in, mm -hmm. um, as far as uh, what they need to need to do, as far as again making themselves aware of what's going on with the CBA, um, not just solely seeing like the dollar signs, yeah. uh, what what it really encompasses with these deals, because. From my perspective, and I'm sure uh, Hatch can can chime in on this too, is that the, the owners and obviously the NFLPA, it's almost kind of like they, you know, the NFLP, they say they're with you guys, but mm -hmm. it's almost like in a sense they're in the back pockets of the owners. Absolutely. And so, you know, that's what I think is a, for me on the outside looking in, there's a disconnect with some of these reps uh, of all these teams of really educating the younger guys to kind of like what they should be doing and not just looking at the dollar sign. Because yeah. at the end of the day, like I said, these guys can get cut at any given any time. time. Any given time. You know what I mean? And that's Even, why they be so scared and they be wanting to sign or they be wanting to vote yes because mm -hmm. they, they see the dollar sign. They young, so they already on minimum wage. But yeah. 
you just chill and calm down right. and understand what's going picture. on, look at the big picture, right. then you ain't, you know what I'm saying, you ain't going to have to be stressing like that. Right, because I think, you know, for me, I, I feel like these guys should be looking at more so guaranteed contracts. Yeah. More, than, I mean, not to ignore some of the things that are on the table, but that should be at the forefront. Should be the number because one focus. I've over the last I mean since I've stopped playing and even when I was playing that was something that I wanted to do but everybody wasn't on the same page yeah. mm-hmm. and then now you've seen MLB NBA you got guys making 100 200 million dollar contracts right that's the guaranteed. thing guaranteed. that's the thing is guaranteed contracts <laughs> right. and I'm sure like I said you going into this you know to your final year next year you're going to be up for a new contract mm-hmm. so that will be beneficial for you to kind of get guaranteed money on the table for like the whole entire league. And exactly. I think honestly that I don't think that's been at the forefront of what you guys should be asking for, should be negotiating. Yeah. Um it's cause it's so much. Like <laughs> like you mm-hmm. say that you got the rookie guys who worried about that. Mm-hmm. We worried about the guaranteed money mm-hmm. and everybody's worried about 17 games, 16 games. So I guess we just fighting one thing at a time. Uh Player safety is definitely the, the the biggest thing. Yeah, I'm sure. uh, of outside course. of the guaranteed contract. So, but I, they need to understand that the NFL makes sixteen billion. billion. They make more money. It's than, ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Just, just, NBA, just understand what I'm saying. Together. They make more money than baseball and basketball combined. Yeah. So there's no way that there there can't be guaranteed contracts. Mm-hmm. But you guys got to fight for it. Yeah, you got to fight. I said this like, is... Guys, you guys in your position, yeah. you getting in the ears of the reps or what have you, this is something that you guys got to fight for. Otherwise, don't be getting on social media talking about looking at what KD making, mm-hmm. you know, Mike Trout and all these baseball players making. What's the us. point? Yeah. What's the point if you're gonna not going to fight for guaranteed contracts? Because that's what they're getting. They're getting guaranteed, guaranteed money. money. Absolutely. It's not Jeez. like four or five, you know, deal, 100 million you get a little bit up front, and then, okay, just say you play two or three years of that five years. Mm-hmm. The owners know in that back end of your contract, that fourth and fifth year is backloaded. You're supposed to get a bulk of your money. Mm-hmm. Soon as that gets, they you, you they get, yeah. letting you go. But you you players injured. have to understand that. They don't they don't get it at mm-hmm. this point. So yeah. that's where guys like you have to obviously you're a veteran now. Yeah, you're a vet. Again, you gotta talk to the Aaron Rodgers, the Drew Brees, mm-hmm. the Mike, the Pounces. That should be something I think I feel Absolutely. that should be at the forefront of you guys' uh, negotiation, especially at this given time. And I like what I've been hearing from the Russell Wilsons, mm-hmm. um, the Aaron Rodgers. They voted no yeah. at this point in time, the Richard yeah. Shermans, because they get it. They're veteran guys. Yeah. And so they're trying to somewhat and in, in, in so, uh, I guess, in an indirect way without, again, if you can't talk to them directly, let these guys know this is, no, you can't accept yeah. what's on the table at, at this present time. Absolutely. Right. Do, you, do you guys have a lot of these conversations in the locker room nowadays? Uh, Not really. Not not big conversations. That's probably the just, problem. Yeah, that, that is yeah. the problem. It's, just, it's one-on-one type conversation right, right, where it don't get out get to the whole Right, like, oh, Yes. But that's don't why, let everybody else know. But but, no, you should let everybody else right. know. Right, but yeah, you see what LeBron James, Chris Paul, mm-hmm. uh, Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, this is, this is what they do. They yeah. get on group threads and whatever. They talk about what they the leverage mm-hmm. that they they possess. Mm-hmm. You guys have so much leverage, especially, so powerful right especially being a minority because the league is made up of 70-plus percent minority. Yeah, yeah. You guys have all <laughs> the leverage in the world, but it's not. I don't think it's been – I guess relayed or translated enough to these younger guys, or I guess guys in between years, to understand the leverage that they have. Well, I mean, you're becoming a free agent right next year, so you have a. This will be your final year of your deal. So, of course, the number one thing you want, of course, is a quarterback, right? Yeah. So, are you lobbying for anybody to come to the to the Chargers right now, like um. a Tom Brady, <laughs> um, or are you just gonna let it happen? <laughs> uh, yeah, I definitely. I th- I'm gonna let it happen, guy. Um, because yeah, yeah. I actually like Tyrod. I like Tyrod Taylor. Nice, yeah, nice. And we, you know, he's already with us. He's been uh, mm-hmm. behind field for a year. Yeah, understands the offense, what's going on. Mm-hmm. So, um, I'm not opposed to that at all. Nice, um, nice. Like I say, I just try to make sure I'm ready. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, as long as somebody throwing it, yeah, yeah, it's good. <laughs> and that's me, the thing. It just thing. It's not just somebody throwing it. You yeah. got to have at least somebody back there that with some kn- knowledge, right? That yeah. knows how to get it to yeah. you. That, like you said, understands the offense. Um, you, like I said, I can't assess what Tyrod has been able to do. Like I said, I know what we've seen with uh, with Philip Rivers, mm-hmm. but 
when I like I said, when I was a free agent and I was going from San Francisco and they had traded me to the Baltimore Ravens and you know everybody gave me a bunch of slack, just a bunch of slack because I didn't want to go to the Ravens. Yeah, and they was like, man, you can you don't want to go to the Ravens? They got a great defense. I'm like, yo, Ray Lewis don't throw no passes. <laughs> don't throw no passes, man. And at that time, they had Cal Bowler yeah. as a quarterback. And it wasn't any disrespect toward him. No, I get it. I was looking at it from a standpoint of how can how can I continue where I am with my career and be productive. Exactly. And so again, like I said, obviously, you know, obviously Tom Brady's name has yeah. been thrown out there. And this is no obviously no disrespect. And I know you're not trying to disrespect Tyrod any at, at, at any given time, being that you've been around, that you've watched him. Would you welcome a Tom Brady? Or like you said, you like you just, you said in your answer, you just kind of just let it let it ha- whatever happens happen. Yeah, no, nah, I, I definitely would welcome a guy like that and Tom Brady. You can't you can't uh coach experience. Right. You know, just having somebody he's seen seen all the games, seen all the defenses. He's been to the big Everything. to the big games and he wins them. You know, so you can't you can't replace that and you can't coach that. So mm-hmm. boy, you just you can't coach experience. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm say, okay, you play for the Cowboys. Oh, you got this, Dak Prescott. This guy. But you, oh, he, he, he's nah, gonna talk. No, no. Because he's gonna talk like that. No, no, Prescott no, doesn't no, have any no, no, experience. No, no, I'm no, he I'm he knows he got how game, he, man. Yeah. he got game. So if he you, ain't got so, he ain't what? got 20 years. He got, yeah, he ain't got yeah, 20 ain't years. Got that. Nobody got that. So you taking Dak Prescott or Tom Brady? Uh, hey, that's not a discussion. It's not even a discussion. But who's under contract? That's what. Doesn't that's matter. his discussion. That's why his discussion, discussion is not void. Because not mean they have. Anything. Yeah, obviously, it does. It's called no, a contract. They let you go now. Exactly. Boy, no, he'll, he'll, I'd like they go to come here with some football. And he go yeah. and he and he go look stupid Dude. in two weeks <laughs> when he does not even think about going to the Dodge Cowboys. No, nah, I don't think going he will. No, nah. because nah, he's gonna they're gonna franchise him. Yeah. He's gonna make thirty three million dollars, and they're gonna be like, okay, we he have just turned 16. down thirty three million dollars. No, franchise him. So when he ha- he can't say nothing, they're gonna franchise him. He has to sign it. No, he so doesn't have to. He has to sign it, and or you just hold out. But you're on the team. You're not a free so agent. So you think yet. he holds the leverage? Then even if he they franchise, holds the leverage. I he can hold he, out. He can't hold. He I think he should. Down, he just turned down thirty three million. But he's gonna Are you be blind? franchised. <laughs> he's gonna. That's what. So your, that's what? your contract. Though. So what? You still, like I said, he can still hold out. They just, why would I, he? I would say hold just, out too. I'm just saying he's not a free agent. That's my that's my no, argument. Right, he's not a free yeah, agent. Of course. Period. Then the argument's over, right? He's not no, a free it's agent. Not. He's not a, that's all I'm saying. Right. I'm not saying he's not going to hold out. I'm saying he's not a free agent. It doesn't matter. That's why guys go in and hold out and they're not even through with their Nobody's contract. Nobody's disagreeing with that. <laughs> Nobody's disagreeing with so that. So the franchise doesn't lock him in, doesn't lock him into a deal. He doesn't have to accept it. Or you can hold out. That's your two choices. Well, he, that's what he's doing anyway. That's what he's probably leaning towards. I hope I hope so for Dak. I would love to see him be the two hundred million dollar dude. Well, you he, know what that's I'm a because, bit of a stretch, but no. he's no. That's get, that's market. I get that's but, market for right, him. Exactly. Right. Well, because actually, Mahomes is going to set the market. He'll Mahomes go for like two twenty. Set it off, and then the, what? Right. So Dak got to be <laughs> right behind him. What? You off. ain't lying, boy. And they're the same. They're the same age. He's about to they're do the some. Same age. He's yeah. about to do some Vivica Fox, Queen Latifah. Set it off all the way, as he should. As well, he should. Right. Just okay. So who's setting the 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 barometer? Receiver or the standard for receivers. Is that, uh, Mike is that, Thomas just Mike Thomas is deal actually, last it was, year. It wasn't. I didn't think it was the best deal. Uh, because he making. He, I think he makes the same thing as Odell when you look at the, the big contract. But I'm right. sure he's going with that whole like Julio, his guarantee. Right, Julio and right. Julio. Right. 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 Thomas's money had more guarantee. More guarantee than, yeah. than Odell. Yeah. Um, and that's. I mean, obviously, I think that's again until something is set with this right. CBA, guaranteed money. Get what you can up front. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, get the guaranteed money. So, and like I said, you got another receiver, right? Mike Williams on the other side of you. Um, again, I'm a big fan, obviously, of the big receivers, and you guys have two of them. And again, I think any quarterback coming to San Diego is like, look, I got six three and six four out here. I got a tight end. Yeah. I got running backs. It's like got a defense. It's like it seems like the perfect scenario, personally, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, you know, for for Tom to come in, if he doesn't, I still think the Chargers can win with Tyrod Taylor for sure. Um, but again, having that receiver on the other side, like you gotta love love that. Right? Absolutely, it's major. Um, even a tight end. Yeah, just, yep. <laughs> yeah. I don't have to win. Well, there you go. Right, <laughs> just right, having right. that Just having that little mindset right there. Yeah. Like we good. You can throw it to any one of us, and, and I we feel winning. confident. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So that, that's major. Um, 
I done been in those scenarios too, where it's like, man, I, I got, I'm the only one that can get the ball. I'm the only one that can get open. Yeah. And safety I gotta get open. If I get top. covered, <laughs> I still gotta look back because he still might throw it this way. But you know, having those guys, it's just major that. So yeah. how do you how how do you guys differ in two questions? Is how do you guys differ from each other, and then how do you guys complement each other? Um, Speaking of Mike Williams, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, Mike is the, definitely the deep guy, um, mm. go getter. Uh, you throw it up, he's going to get the ball mm. by any means. Um, I ain't the, the catches he make is, is ridiculous. <laughs> His catch it's, radius yeah, is it's, crazy. It's, right? it's ridiculous. He makes some crazy catches, and I'm I'm just gonna beat you to sleep. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, you can't. I feel like you can't guard me. Don't play man to me. Cover to my side. You got to <laughs> two man. Get that boy some help. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you you more like the physical, the brutal, brutal yeah, br yeah, punishment type of receiver. Mm -hmm. And Quine, Larry Fitzgerald type. There okay. You go. Yeah, there okay. You go. Yeah. yeah. Go inside, outside. Yeah, Chris Carter, Randy that. Moss. He ain't Randy Moss, but right. Yeah, I feel. Yeah. Right, right. yeah. So right. what do you think? I, Cause you remind me kind of like of Mike Evans a little bit. Kind of mm -hmm. favorite Mike Evans. Y'all light skin. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? They, they, <laughs> Mike. Mike has Chris Godwin over there. What do you think yeah, about yeah. those two down in uh, down in uh, Tampa yeah, Bay? Same thing. Um, you got you got Mike just beating people up every down, mm -hmm. and then you got the explosive guy. He can he can take it the distance whenever he wants to. Chris right, Godwin, yeah, that's uh, what it kind of some similarities yeah. to you and that's, Mike. That's, how, that's the compliment too. Right. So, mm -hmm. so what you what you want to take away defense? Right, you got to pick one. Away, yeah, you got to take away mm -hmm. one. What you want to do? So, right. so what do you think you need to do? You guys need to do to get deep into the playoffs, and then obviously give you, give yourselves a, a chance to to win a championship. Yeah, um, first thing is injuries. Uh, yeah, y'all been keep shooting. Hit. Out. We Man, yeah, we shoot ourselves in the foot with the injuries. Offensive line took a big hit last year. Mm -hmm. I think that was that was major for us, uh, just not being able to sustain the offensive line that we had the previous year. Uh, and they talking about seventeen games. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. Right. And that's why you see the penalty to me. They fight. So. <laughs> right. And you. Like, that's because the owners <laughs> are so right back into that conversation. Yeah, yeah. So much right, to talk right. about. That conversation you know can't go in. Right. Because, it is, because so. the, uh, the owners are so manipulative and they think that football players are dumb because at the end of the day, they're going for their pockets. Of course. And, yeah. and the players are not understanding. They're the ones that are expendable. That money is going to be in their pocket regardless. Right. Speaking right. of the ownership, that money is going to be in their pockets, pockets regardless. Yeah. yeah. These players, they're thinking like immediate money, like right yeah. now. Right. And they don't guys, know, exactly. And again, and they're thinking, thinking about money, not wealth. Exactly, right? the owners' wealth. Wealth, you know what I'm saying? And Long that's, term. And that's where you guys have to educate these guys. Yeah. And I and I know that's what you know uh, the, the the Richard Shermans, uh, the Russell Wilsons. Mm -hmm. They're trying to get across to you guys. But I think you guys, honestly, you have to do a better job of getting everybody together. Everybody, right. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And so everybody can be on the same page and you guys can talk to each other yeah. and educate each other. Mm -hmm. I think that's the disconnect. Like I said, it's always a little whisper pod. You're yeah. talking amongst each other, but mm -hmm. it's not going anywhere mm -hmm. beyond that. Yeah. Are you are you considered a team leader? You consider yourself one of the team leaders? Um yeah, I'm a now I'm, that get, I'm, getting, I'm getting, getting better. Sure. Yeah, I'm getting better at vocal yeah, leader. Yeah. I like to show, you know what I'm saying? Lead, lead by, by showing, yeah, lead by example. Mm -hmm. Um do as I do, so to speak. Right, right, right. Yeah, because I, I mean, in the locker room, it's always different. It's like, when is the time for me to take over? But now with Phillip Rivers leaving, you know, it's like you're probably one of is there. Is there anybody who played longer with the Chargers only? Melvin yeah. Ingram. Melvin, okay, yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. me, me and Mel is the, uh, the oldest Charger guys in there. That's crazy. 27, you, you the old it's head. Really, it's, it's you the we, old we, head, me, man. Me and Phil was talking about He's like, y'all y'all know y'all about to be the guys? And he's like, Phil, now. chill. You got to chill. We ain't even ready for that. <laughs> right, but yeah, right. well, just chill. We're going we gonna to do it. That's but, funny. Yeah. So yeah. is Phil is he retiring? No, no. Or is he? Or is he? What, what do you think? What 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 do you think? There's a a destination for for Philip. Uh, what's like a team? Yeah. What do, um, what do you think? Or do, I mean, you I've, obviously I've, know. I've, yeah, I've been talking to. I ain't been talking to people, but uh, just talking with with uh, my friends and stuff. They think he's going to Tampa. I think he's going to Indy. I think he's he, going to Indy too. Just because of uh, Frank Wright, Nick yeah. Sirianni, the offense coordinator. They okay. they've been together. Uh, they yeah. have a relationship. Um. So I think it'll team. be a perfect fit. Yeah, great yeah, got team. You got you got threats over there, and you got a run game. So, yeah. do, I, do you think do you think Philip Rivers is a Hall of Famer? Absolutely, I, I do too. A lot of people are like hey, Philip. I'm like Philip Rivers is a yeah, Hall absolutely. of Famer. Yeah, that yeah. dude was doing it for <laughs> yeah. a minute. Yeah, I think that again, he has the resume. I mean, just yeah. the numbers uh, and again, the longevity. Right. That, yeah. I mean, stayed longevity, healthy. Yeah. Absolutely. Two two hundred and something games consecutive. Two thirty five. Two thirty five. Yeah. Consecutive games in a row. 
and we only play 16? Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you feel me? You do a mess. So that's, right. that, that's Hall of Fame in itself. Yeah. I, but for me, I'm on the outside looking in. I, I Probably the last two to three years that I've watched like highlights of Phil River, for me, I saw his arm strength deteriorating. Mm -hmm. He didn't have that zip in a lot of his passes, obviously, mm -hmm. as he did early on in the career. For me, it almost... Uh, mirrors what um, Peyton. Peyton Manning mm -hmm. was doing throughout his career. Yeah. Toward the end of his career, he starts the ball starts fluttering a little yeah. bit. Mm -hmm. Did you kind of notice some of these things? Obviously, in the last probably three to four years or, uh, or what have you. Yeah, uh, it, it comes up um, very randomly. Mm -hmm. uh, rarely, too, as well. Because um, you still see him throwing the deep ball to, yeah. uh, to right. Mike Williams. But it's just sometimes he'll, he'll do something. He'll be like, I couldn't make it. You know, I, could, I couldn't do it to you. So... Right. Yeah. Last nice. year you could have did that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 yeah. <laughs> it just comes with the game. And uh like I said, the offensive line uh took a hit this year, so his his confidence there wasn't all the way. Right. So mm -hmm. I was like, that's what's uh, up. Uh, you, you for sure are gonna be one of the top five receivers paid, you know, after this after this year's free agency, right? Now you kinda get slighted sometimes and people put up their top threes and top five yeah. receivers in the NFL. How's that make you feel? Because I know you definitely oh, think yeah. you're in the top two. And what two, do you think you rank? For sure. I'm number one. He, go, he number one. He number one. You can always that ain't throw. even me being honest. You put on the tape, man. It's just... I like it. Don't speak for itself. But, okay, uh, I like it. Yeah, that, it definitely makes me mad. It lets me know that they not putting on the tape. Facts, so I don't, facts, I don't get facts. all the way counted up into it. But when I see the real, like, real posts, like... um. I don't know, CBS Sports or something like yeah, that. And you yeah. got to, I'm, like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm number eight? Right, on, yeah. Man, y'all yeah, trip. Yeah, yeah. So is it, <laughs> but do you think that could you. be because you guys are just, you know, taking backseat here to the Rams? Uh, you know what I mean? And you're not, uh, you don't get a lot of, I guess, top television games, TV games? Possibly it could be it. Um, because, I mean, Julio, I mean, and, and A.B., if I had to pick my my top two, I'm I, I would say Julio A B. I'm a Julio guy. You can't and, and you can't put A B in the conversation right now because yeah. that's I, not outside, on the I mean I'm just saying outside of all the yeah okay. the shenanigans. Okay. Yeah. Okay. When he was playing, like I said, he was okay. like I said. Right. Yeah. Uh, no, when he was playing, you top three for sure. Top give give, two, me, give us your top five then. Give us the top, top five, five, right? And you, and you can't be in it. Okay. You yeah, can't yeah, yeah. be in it. Uh, Julio it one for Julio sure. Julio one. I we all agree on that, right? Julio one. Uh. My two would be um, Odell. Okay. I'm an Odell guy. Uh, Mike Thomas for sure. Okay. Yep. Yep. Mike Thomas for sure. Julio, Odell. Julio, Odell, Thomas, Mike Thomas. Mike Thomas. Who I'm missing? You got your Tampa guy. You got Tampa guy. I like Mike there. Evans and them boys. They down there. You got uh, uh, DeAndre Hopkins. D Hop. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. D Hop. Some people and, put um, uh, Amari. Some people put. Right. Um, let me see your boy. Missing somebody though. AJ Green. AJ Green. Man, AJ Green. See, he's not an AJ Green fan. He's been on the shelf the last two years. He's been injured. He's been injured, but that so factors into it. That does factor into it. You have to play. It's consistency. And you can't be consistent. And I can't put AB in? You can't put AB in there. Well, that's just shenanigans. That ain't But you still have to line up the last three years played. And he only has one out okay, of three. Okay, you can he take AJ take, out then. You can take AJ off. Yeah, AJ AB been off. Dude, AJ is on the injury report every year. Every year. <laughs> he has, bro, I haven't yeah, seen yeah, him. Bro, yeah, I, I almost remember. forgot I about AJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I almost <laughs> forgot I about AJ. I, I ain't even, <laughs> not to say nothing away from his ability, but, dude, you haven't even really heard of AJ Green the last couple of years. Yeah. And obviously that's probably, that's been part of their lack of success in, Probably Andy Dalton's uh. progression as a quarterback because of, again, he doesn't have that receiver. I mean, you know, too, like, you know, we can't do what we do without a quarterback. Absolutely. And then a quarterback, like I said, if you don't have that comfort mm -hmm. of, of a go-to guy and a guy that has the abilities to run every route yeah. in the route tree and you have that trust in them, they're going to struggle mm -hmm. just putting in, you know, just – pedestrian type guys unless you're Tom Brady and you're the, the 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 New England Patriots. So let me let me throw a couple more names, see if you put them in your top five. You got Devontae Adams from oh, the yeah. Packers. It's done discussion. Ooh. Right? Uh, yeah. Done discussion. Yeah. I'm, that's my fault, Vontae. My right. bad, man. I'm, yeah. tri I'm tripping, Vontae. Uh, yeah. Say. yeah, yeah. That's Devontae, my boy. Yeah. Amari. Some people put Amari in uh, there. Devontae top three. Devontae top three? Devontae Ooh, top three. Okay. okay. Is Juju up there yet? No. No. I would um, say Juju. Okay. Let me see. D 
Hop, of T. course. Hill, I like Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill, yeah. yeah. Bob, now, is sure. is he is he one dimensional? No, nope. the only question. I don't think no. so. At I, first, I, I thought yeah, he was. At first, right? I thought okay, he was too. And then I started watching the tape, and he he got release moves. Yeah, he can run the route tree. Yeah, at first, I thought he was just like a slot guy. Yep. You know what I mean? Or just a speed guy. Yeah, that too. Just yeah, take nah, the top he, he off. He got, he got, he got some. Okay, got some juice with him. Okay, DJ Moore from the Panthers. He on his way. Mm-hmm. Not I yet though. Watched him. He was a what he, he was a rookie. Uh, second year. Second year. Yeah, second I, year I haven't guy. watched him. But second year guy. He's been on a couple lists above me. And yeah. I don't like it. Really? <laughs> have you seen Gall- <laughs> have you seen uh, Kenny Galladay's game from the Lions? Uh, we played court? him this year. Yeah, yeah. He's coming along. He is coming he, along. He's, he's, along. he's over there with my boy Marv. So I know he's I know he's getting some good work. Yep. He on the For way sure. up. He on the way up. Uh, Jarvis Landry you got you pick Odell before Jarvis. Yeah. So you know that's not a thing. Jarvis is solid though. Um, Tyler Lockett, small guy. Tyler Boyd. Uh, Robert Woods can't be up there. Julian Edelman. Just because of longevity. Longevity. <laughs> He's a, is, he, is, he, is he in your top 10? Let me I ask you that. Is he in your that. top 10? No. Because, and this, this is how, as receivers, <laughs> this is how we would judge receivers, no right? So all, no. all people listening out there, if you line up versus certain corners and you cannot beat them consistently yeah. one-on-one, you're not in that conversation, Can't first be. of all. Right, that's the that's the number one thing. You got to be able to beat one on one. Right. Two is probably when they double team you and you still put up numbers. That's when you start to get in people's top five. Oh yeah. So that's until when you I separate. see that from certain people, you're like, ah, oh, they okay. For me, be he's okay. like a product of the system. system. Yeah, I okay. was gonna say Facts. it, but I ain't wanna say it. Oh. Okay. Yeah. No, you no, think yeah. it? We say it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 part of the model. I like Stephon Diggs. I like Stephon Diggs. I like right? Stephon. Yeah, yeah. He's, He's coming. Along. Yeah. I exactly. want to see them uh, without see each him, other. Right. I want to uh, see him and uh, Thielen. Yeah. They complement each other well. Yeah. Though. Him and Thielen. Yeah. I uh, got AJ Juju. We said already. Uh, there you go. You you you're at six. Six. Huh? <laughs> it's just a random list. <laughs> like a random list. They got. Yeah. They had AB in that list. So you would actually okay. be five right now. See. There you go. Even though you number one. You number one in your heart, which sure. all that matters. Yeah, right? Every sure. receiver, if you ask me who's the top receiver of all time, it's me. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I ain't got no numbers to back it up. For sure. But it's me. You know what I'm saying? So, Because none of us in here on the top 100. You see, you feel me? So we all kind of equal. None of us? None of Not him either. <laughs> see that guy right up? Hey, you see that? None Talk of to us. A T-O, don't we, let we all, we like all the that, same. Man. We Dude. all the same. <laughs> How many Pro Bowls you got? Three? A lot. I don't know. I got a lot. I don't know. Just because they have this alleged list of top 100 yeah, a very that I wasn't oh, the, no, that, a that, part that of, yes, he takes liberty and takes I great joy. It, yeah. I love you got it. To. In the, you got to. He, he takes great joy in the fact that I wasn't included. Uh, You're still competing at the right. end of the day. But at the end of the day, he knows in his heart, and yeah. I know for sure in my damn heart, I. I'm a game changer. I the, should be on that list. The top, the top five all time. Let's let's get let's put it out there. What's the top five of all time? See if we can come up with our own. We have three receivers in here that play in the league, right? Over thirty years of experience, mm-hmm. mul- multiple Pro Bowls. Yeah, because y'all got them all, right? <laughs> let's come up with our top five all time Re- list. Receivers, receivers. We know Moss, To are both in it for sure, and Jerry Yo, Rice, Jerry. and Jerry's in Definitely. it for sure. Is Larry Fitzgerald in top five of all time? To me, he is. To me, he is. Top five. So we got three people voting. Okay, top five. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, 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 mean, so I, I would put him up there. I could put, I could, I could insert him. That means there's only a spot for one more. One there's more. Only spot for one more. That's and one more. That's, that's so between. you got to think about Chris Carter. You got to think about Calvin Johnson. Calvin Johnson. Johnson. Calvin Johnson. Johnson. You got to think about Michael Irvin. Michael Irvin. You got to think about this. Dude, that, that's a tight ch- Five Ooh, is tough for good. all we'll time. Y'all do it. Boy, five is tough. I don't care. After I'm in there, y'all can do it. I'm good. <laughs> No, y'all Rand, can, Randy, you. Y'all can strain y'all Randy, brain. you, Jerry. <clears throat> them two is next. Hey, them next two. What? what? Boy. It's, it's between, it's between Calvin. Calvin Johnson. It's like about four guys, Chris four five Carter. guys buying for two spots. Yeah, Calvin, yeah. Chris Carter, Michael Irvin. Michael Irvin. Ooh. Uh, ooh, that's, ooh, that's, 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 that's solid. That's solid. It's ooh. between those three at the six. end of the day. Top six. Nope, ain't nope. I'm going to make you cut it off. No, sir. <laughs> nope. I ain't going to let you take the easy way out. They got, a lot of people think Marvin Harrison is one of the top ooh, receivers of all name. time. Right. That's a good name. I, I personally good name. don't like the Colts system because he was on the right side. 
all the, the time. time. Was he? And, yep. Yeah, pretty and much. Peyton, he played one side of the ball. One side yep. of the ball. Okay, and Peyton, if, you had, if he seen a certain coverage uh-huh. that took him away, he would check it and yeah. go into a run or go away. Yeah. Personally, if you that do, you still go beat the double and triple exactly. teams anyway. And I never seen that from Marvin Harris. Exactly. That's why he's not in my top five. I think I was on Twitter talking to some joker about that, and I was like, "That's my reason." Well, you got to go, in the top Calvin, five. if we talking like that. Then. Yeah, and then yeah. Calvin, because he is he's a guy beating t- double Bro, triple he teams. was a yeah, beast. Right, um, they was rolling I'm talking about the top, going, going and getting it. We played him. I seen the coverage out there. I said, "What?" He's <laughs> he beat it. He the linebacker it. buzzed out. He the beat corner it still. was pressed. Dude, I, I honestly, I knew I was that dude when I saw we lined up. I was in Dallas. I go to the right side of the formation. Dude, threw me for a loop. I went out there. They had a corner. And then had a linebacker yeah, walked out. Double, yeah, bro, I, it was almost like I was <laughs> doing punt, punt, like punt, punt, punt. Yeah, the first time press. I seen it, I, I seen it on Antonio Gates. Yeah, yeah, they, they, used to put they double vice him them. on yeah. the line of scrimmage, <laughs> and the safety was behind them. Right, I said, I'm like, dude, what? yeah, yeah, somebody got to be open. He still scored, <laughs> dude. That's the thing. That's <laughs> hey, like, what crazy. Is it? Yeah. Right, I it's crazy. yeah, trust me. I knew then that I was like, man. This is crazy. When they try to draw up, defensive coordinator draw up, just start kind of just gotta throwing eliminate stuff out him. there. You got to take him off the field. That's right. crazy. That lets you know. Have you been? Have you experienced in? Uh, I got anything? double press before. Yeah, playoffs last year against the Ravens. They mm-hmm. did the double. Press. So when, the, the Patriots actually, uh, it wasn't a double press. They uh, pressed me with the DN, mm-hmm. then the corner pressed me, and they had safety over the top. Safety help. So we all have those kind of like those aha moments or yeah. the moments when you're like, oh man. I got this, you know what I mean? I know it, obviously, course of your career, like I said, for me, like I said, you guys were better than me starting out. Where and when in your career was it that moment we were like, okay, man, I I, I could be a problem to the league? My rookie year. Okay, you came I, in, yeah, huh? when I came in, it was just, I was on fire. Um, but they was, at the, at the time, it was only single coverage. It mm-hmm. wasn't the number one uh, cornerback because they was putting the guy on uh on Antonio Gates. Gates right, so I right, was getting right. the second cornerback. Uh, oh, yeah, you were eating my chops. So they didn't yeah, really so know. They didn't know. What me. They so, was, and that, that's when my receivers coach, uh, he said it too. He said, next year ain't going to be, be that like sweet. That. <laughs> it ain't right. going to be that yeah, sweet. They, they got 16 you're games. You're going to be getting film. the number one yeah. guy. And sure enough, first game of the season, yeah. Pat Pete was on me, and it was right. tough. Yeah. Very right. tough. So, um, so probably 2000, right after the ACL, came back, comeback player of the year um, that, awesome. that season. Let me know that I was okay. I'm, I'm still that dude. So what? I mean, right now you're going. You're in your eighth year. Going, going into on, your going on eight. No, I'm going into eight. Going, going into eight. your eighth. What is going to be a success for your career? Just say you don't win a Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. What's going to be successful? Define that for for, for uh, us and the guys that are listening. Without a Super Bowl, I think just staying consistent, playing playing all sixteen games. I'm a, I'm a firm believer. If I get all sixteen games, stay on the field, and my stats going going they going to show. So that's so Super Bowl is not it's obviously at the top of your list mm-hmm. is let's say Hall of Fame is that next uh, on your yeah. list? Yep. Hall of Fame will be major. I'd probably cry. <laughs> <laughs> as well you should. Moment. It'd be a crime moment for right, sure. Right. But nah, that's that's what you want to be at the, uh, when you're growing up as a kid. I don't mm-hmm. I don't think it was a... Uh, it probably was I want to win a Super Bowl just because of the moment when you see it on TV, it's just so special. But you want to be a Hall of Fame at the end of the gotcha. day. You have kids, you have son, yeah, daughters? Yeah. I got one son, two daughters. What do you think uh, about your kids playing or your son playing playing football? I'm not big on it. Um no. just because I know the grind. I know how tough it is. And it ain't healthy. <laughs> right. At the end of the day. So would you discourage him? No, I wouldn't discourage it. No. If if he got if he got it, then he got it. Right. If that's what you want to do, then that's what you want to do. But I ain't. We gonna we gonna pick up this basketball though. Oh we yeah, play some soccer and try to go or some at golf. Fifteen professional, <laughs> yeah, trying yeah, to be golf. professional at 15, 16 years old. <laughs> right, so. already. Man, I, I, if I could go back and do something, a sport that I golf for sure. Man. Really? Me, me? No, it would be tennis. Tennis? It'd be tennis because I'd be a hell of a tennis player. <laughs> I, uh, no. He got range, bro. No, no, I'm talking about bro. He got I, range. His eye hand range. ain't the best. You know he had a lot of drop balls in his career. So I don't what? know about that. Hey, no, no, I'd be a hell of a tennis player. Cause that's the thing, like most of that money that they make, it's off younger. marketability too. Yeah. 
Oh, you definitely can't. They don't you would have been, nah, he would have been the dude. What? Nah, they wouldn't have been By the dude. First of all, I'm, no first, he would have been the dude. <laughs> it had to be a sport exactly. where he was, okay, but, now, now it makes sense. <laughs> he would have been the dude. Exactly. Okay, an individual I'm real, sport. I'm handsome. Get it. I'm handsome. That's the last thing. <laughs> and you, then Brandon is going to, Brandon is going to follow that. He's going to do his thing in March. Only, sponsor, he gonna do only his sponsorship you're going to have is a mask. Bro, let me tell you something, bro. I'm acing, I'm acing Nadal, I'm riding all of them. Yeah, he yeah, was, Arthur, was it Arthur Ashe talking to him? Was he the one talking <laughs> hey, to him when he was playing? Man, I'm talking about Roger Fe- Ali of tennis. Yes, I'm, I'm, that would have oh, been the T.O. for hey, sure. Not see I'm it. acing him. I'm Ooh. doing sit-ups right after I do the ace. Hey, you go. Hey, I'm doing everything. He I'm can't pulling. stop me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, I would be the most marketable what? guy win on the first, tennis. Though. They would have loved win. it. He wouldn't have, nah, he wouldn't have had to win. He wouldn't have had to win. He would have been that good. He been that good. He Anna, his his marketing would have been hey, crazy. Anna Kornikova? Anna, yeah, she wasn't winning. She was beautiful, just like I'm handsome. So oh, no. That's what, he, no. That's what are you worst. talking about? <laughs> no, that's the worst. She wasn't thing. getting no deals because she was winning. She was good though. She was. She good. was decent. Did, did, did Anna ever win? I don't even know who y'all talking what? about. You don't know no. who Anna Kornikova is? No. What? She was, Maybe uh, if I see her, I know yeah. the name. She was a beautiful, she bombshell. Like oh, she bombshell. looked good and was playing tennis. But playing she wasn't tennis, but good she was as, like Venus and Serena. So, but she was yeah, good. Some of the girls they were getting mad at her. <laughs> yeah, because she was getting so many off the field deals, oh, yeah. endorsements wow. off of her looks versus her play. Yeah, hey, I'm, I'm don't hate the game. Exactly. So this dude right here, he's a bona fide hater right now. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, I just tell the truth, <laughs> dog. No, tell it. I would have been a hella fine <laughs> tennis player, bro. No, you go be. Okay. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen her. Yeah, she was. She was pretty good. She would have beat him for sure. She would have. You beat play you. right now? Huh? You play? Yeah, I I, I don't picked up the lesson because my son plays. Okay. But even just like I said, just I wanted to kind of take some lessons, like. From his coaches or whatever, yeah. so I I haven't probably taken like no literally no more than like five lessons, but the feedback that I got from the coaches like what they say T what they say they said dude they said bro I wish we could have gotten a hold of you when you were younger <laughs> they are lying to dude, you they saw they I'm saw they want his money huh they they want your money to, to keep you know, coming man, back if that was, they want my money they knew we were gonna make some <laughs> if that's the case they knew we were gonna make some money hey, that's funny dude I'm telling you. Dude, like you said, my range just to just to stop and go to change of direction, mm-hmm. bro. Trust me, just to understand, just like everything is technical with the backhand, the forehand. Bro. You play ping pong, yeah, yeah. Nice, ping pong. Okay. big ping you pong. Play, you play ping pong, nice. You mm-hmm. nice, nice in ping pong. You got to be of he Asian. Got you have to be of Asian descent to beat me. No. <laughs> No, hey, I, I'm like that. You, you might you be. light skin, but you ain't Asian. You light like that. I'm close. You might now. not be like that. <laughs> I'm close. Uh, hey, I'm nice though. I'm nice. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Keenan Allen on get your popcorn ready. Yes, yes sir. Uh, and you guys so, subscribe to the Himalaya app or wherever you get your podcast. Absolutely. So let's talk about some off the field stuff. Then mm-hmm. what do you, what do you want to do when you get done? Like I say, you're gonna. I'm already I'm already making moves, man. Okay, uh, okay. tell us what moves you made. Yeah, I just I just uh, closed on an Infinity dealership. Nice. Oh, right. awesome. yeah, Congrats yeah. So, I'm owner. Oh, we all getting, we all getting infinity. You know who yeah. else? Oh, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I pulled you know who up else in has the a dealership. Hmm. You know. Now, uh, you asking me? Yeah. I know a couple people. A Rod Wilson. People. Uh, no, football player, receiver. You named him. He's the first one. Uh, you named the top. When we asked you to name the top. Julio. Five. Yep. Oh, then yeah. Then Kia dealership. Uh, yep. In Tuscaloosa. Okay. Nice. 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 There you go. I actually, um, I'm, I'm working on closing a BMW dealership in uh, Pittsburgh. Yeah. Whoa, okay, boy, yeah, you're yeah. really making some moves. Yeah, so, yeah man. It's, I have a, 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 a Zen bomb. I have an ointment. Um, okay, know what's that? A Zen bomb. It's a um, relief, relief pain, okay. um, all natural. Okay. Uh, hemp bomb. We, we just we just actually put the hemp in it. We got a hemp line. Um, it's in your right aids. I'll go pick that there up at right aid. There you go. What, what's it, what is it called? Zen bomb. Z E N. Okay. Z-E-N. Zen bomb. Mm-hmm. Go get your Zen, man. The right aids. Local get your right aids. Right, arthritis, right okay. all that. Okay. Okay. Got to check that out for sure. Right, what else you got? So that's that's three. I know that's you got three. One. Um, clothing line. I'm about to. Um, uh, me and me and my homies doing a clothing line. Nice. Uh, my brother. He's he he loves clothes. Uh, What's the thought process behind it? Like you know, motivational. Uh, um, really just the love for it. Uh, okay. just love for the fashion. Um, mm-hmm. j- try not to be too crazy like on some Kanye West stuff, but still right, present right. that still present that good look, good feel. Okay. Type of clothing and um. Just try to make it as modern as possible. Like t-shirts, jeans, or just everything. T- t-shirts, everything. jeans, uh, jackets, hoodies, j- hoodies, joggers, uh, joggers, joggers, everything. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Same. Yeah. I'm doing absolutely. Absolutely. Same absolutely. 
Yeah, he got the same. He got a clothing line. Yep, yep. Yeah. So athleisure, sure. like I said, to and from the gym apparel. Okay, yeah, yeah, uh, that's major. Yep. That ain't that ain't going nowhere. <laughs> got exactly. got to work out. Is yours just is it men or men and women? Uh, men and women. Okay, um, so, yeah. we're, I'm trying to get them to do um some kids stuff. I had yep. somebody come up yesterday. Uh, come up to me yesterday. Say, do you guys make kids stuff? <sighs> We do now for you. Yeah, we make it. <laughs> oh, Get yeah. you a small. Right, right, all right. <laughs> You'll grow into just it. Just start. Yeah. yeah, what I my advice would be just start with a small collection mm -hmm. and then just let it let it grow from there. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. yep. All right. Yeah. What else? Music. What else I'm a music guy. Oh, music. Okay. okay. Yeah, man. Who, rap. Okay. Sing, rapper. Sing. Sing. Oh, hey. so you R and B, you tank. I'm R yeah. I ain't tank. That's <laughs> tank. He put you on the level, right? He. Put yeah, I'm a little. Let me get you. To Trey Songz, Chris Brown level. Oh, Tank, okay, Tank okay. is real. R real R &B. R &B. But can you dance with it? Can oh, I ain't doing no dance. Okay, all right. I got feet, right. though. Got, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, you music, so are you behind the scene music or are you like on the mic? No, nah, I'm on the mic. Uh, I've been writing. I write my stuff. And, uh, give a, hey, you know, we have, yeah. right? They can hear us. Yeah, yeah. Let, let me I hear write my something. stuff. You know, let me hear, I say you I write my stuff and I sing it you, too. So y'all go check me out, man. K. Alexander on your uh, Spotify. Okay, oh, Alexander, there it is. Hey, Alexander. There it okay. is. You don't want to, you don't want to bless him with nothing right now. Man, you see want, if I do that, and I'm taking away. You want me to take you, you into it? I mean, I, I got it, vocals it too. Dude, he I mean, trust me. Look, my man, <laughs> my man tested me the other day. Oh. He go say, well, um, I was like, I can sing. So he's like, if you sing something, I'm gonna give you a song. I'm gonna give you um, uh, an artist, an artist. Uh -huh. right? And he go give me Prince. Oh. Like how tough is I'm, that? You an, Dirty guy. Ain't warm that up or nothing. You you know? What's her name? Uh, if, oh, that if, was one of my favorite songs. If you're an artist and your range is like that, it doesn't matter who I throw out there. I could have thrown out Zach Brown band. Oh, I um, I almost strained a hamstring trying to sing Prince. <laughs> you kill yourself. I was trying to kill myself. <laughs> hey, that I he was said tough. he almost strained a hamstring. <laughs> I'm weak. You, yeah, you don't want to you don't want to bless him or not. Nah, give man, him, give I can't him bless him too much, man. I him, uh, <clears> too <throat> much drink last little night. <clears throat> little. Like I told you, I was sick you know, okay, Friday, right, so little, it's still a still up in there a little bit. Still a little, still a little rust, rusty. Yeah, right, we'll, we'll let you <laughs> put your ride. Okay, we, we go we, we go let you get your uh you know your studio work on. Yeah, yeah. Just let me keep working. Let me keep working. So how many more years you feel like you you want to play? I want to reach ten for sure. Oh, I want to reach ten years. That's that's the milestone I'm looking at. Um, anything after that is just Ice on them. Right. Ice and you've been with the Chargers all mm -hmm. eight years. Yep. Tell me about the transition from San Diego and LA. What did you what was your initial thoughts? I yep. know because they, they were flirting, they kept throwing the idea a couple of years mm -hmm. uh prior to. And then because I know like I, I playing against the San Diego Chargers when I was with the Niners. Yeah. It was like a we went down to y'all stadium and it was like a home game for us. Absolutely. Oh, I'm talking about literally <laughs> it was Absolutely. yes, it was like a home game for us. Yeah. So it still I, is. So how, so how <laughs> right now, right. so now you guys are sharing the stadium with, yeah. with uh, the, the new with stadium the Rams. will be open in 2020. Mm -hmm. So, 2020. yeah, so can you just tell yeah. us about um, the transition? The, the transition for me was actually solid because I, um, I just, I just had my kids, two, two girls at the time. And, um, so Ir we, we live in Irvine. It ain't even LA, you know, pretty much. So, okay. so the, the, the whole city is family based. It's slow. It's, um, Everything. I mean, it ain't it ain't easy to get to places, but you don't have to go too far to get to places. And um, like I say, it's real family oriented, so it was solid for me. But it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but what about okay? How, now you like this traffic though? Yeah, uh, the yeah, traffic. That's, <laughs> the, that's terrible about it. Um, ain't it, no love. What about the, no yeah, love. Th thinking of speaking of no love? What about the fan support? Yeah, How, it's, it's, is it it's starting rough. to get better? Do you think it's gonna? I hope, man. We went twelve and four, and right went to the playoffs. We went twelve and four, went to the playoffs in the season, and it, it still was no all love. black in there for red games, all orange enough for Denver so. Games. What do you think it is? What I don't why? know. I think it's I, more of the city, mm -hmm. not 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 uh not the fans. I think it's just you you got a vacation spot out here. Mm -hmm. So to speak, and, and when people come out here, it's like, oh yeah, we gonna go to the to the Charger game. Mm -hmm. But like, they the other fans though, so they trying to come to L.A. They trying to come to San Diego, so they, that'll be a great game to go to. Mm -hmm. You look at the fans, saying. it's like, oh yeah, they they came out. But this they way. got to be disappointing. They got I, to be disappointing. And it's crazy because you know, in the comments you see, and hey, why y'all leave San Diego? We we we, 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 we was get in no San love. Diego. Yeah, we wouldn't get no love. Y'all weren't there anyway. So it, yeah, right. Bittersweet. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, it, it also has a lot. To do, like I said, the Rams are here. 
I don't see why people think the Rams are the number one team in LA. I think yeah, they do. Of, I, they they stay and be the same way. Right, same. I think it's the same way. I said the yeah. same thing. But they start to get a lot of like well, going to the Super Bowl celebrity well, fan support right. too when they start winning. They went to the Super Bowl. Super Bowl came back, had a losing season, and they wasn't in the stands. What, what's, yeah. Where's the love at? Yeah, right. exactly. That's LA. Where's the love? That's LA. They There's a lot more things wagon. to do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's wagon. tough. Yeah. Unless you're the Lakers. Lakers oh, yeah. go get them. Lakers, Lakers go get them. Yeah. Yeah, y'all, so y'all got that uh, that basketball syndrome, like the Clippers and the basket and the Clippers, Clippers and, and the Lakers. Lakers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a little Rams, bit. Chargers, yeah. Dodgers, Angels. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. People go love who they love for the longevity of it. Toughest DB that I play ever. Yeah, Revis. Uh, yeah. Revis. Off Revis. Revis. Really? Off rip. What makes him the toughest? Knowledge. Um, He's never. I ain't. He wasn't in a bad spot all game. Mm. I beat him at the line of scrimmage, and he got back into the best position he could get in. The recovery. And I, I'm okay. like, man, what, 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 what? <laughs> I thought <laughs> I won. Man, yeah, yeah, I yeah. had him. Didn't have him at all. Um, so yeah, just having that knowledge and the technique he played with is ridiculous. Uh, he don't break his technique, and uh, it was just tough to beat. Nice disciplined corner. Yeah, really, yeah very yeah. disciplined. Yeah, people. I guess they try to put. Or he's putting himself in that. Mm-hmm top three of all time type of category. But again, I I think it was the market he was in helped him. But I think nationwide, they don't they don't put him in that Dion, you know, um, category. Why not? You know what? I, I think it's the big games. Okay. The, the Jets were not, you know, a lot of yeah. the Monday nights or playoff games or True. Super Bowls. I don't think he had those big moments where he went up against another pro bowler and shut him down. The, those Dion versus Jerry Rice moments, yeah, yeah. Dion had pick sixes on yeah. Monday night, you know, stuff like that. Right, those are big sure. moments. And, and stuff <clears throat> but like there was that. something to him to the, to the point that they had to create this thing of Revis Island. Revis yeah. Island. Yeah. He well, followed it. That, that was my thing. Yeah, he followed you all game, and he played man by himself all game. No help. Yeah. And so who are your who are your top? We well obviously we we talked about top receivers. Who are your like top three or whatever DBs uh, uh, in the league right now? Oh, uh, right now, um, Darius Slay, Slay for the Lions. Uh, yep, Lions. Darius Slay. Um, what do you think about Richard Sherman? He cool, but he's just Technique older problems. now, right? He's just older. He's not Technique the same. Technique problems. Uh, right, he right. don't got the Legion of Boom with him. Mm, <laughs> so, gotcha. Uh, Gilmore yeah. from the Patriots. That fine is solid. I think it's a it's a. Uh, well, what do we say? A scheme thing, though. Really? Okay. Yeah. He's solid, though. Yeah, because I haven't really... Slay. I'm a Slay. I'm still a Pat Pete fan. Right, right, right. He, yeah, I he am was still out. a Pat Pete fan. Yeah, he He's was a little injured, hurt. but mm-hmm. I'm still a Pat Pete fan. And, uh, gotcha. So you have you look at the list. Byron Jones. You got Chris ha- Chris Harris. I mean, I and people have Chris up there. Ain't no Chris Harris, man. <laughs> barbecue chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Barbecue. Wow, so barbecue tell, tell everybody chicken. what you what, what nah, your definition Chris of barbecue. Be, me and Chris be going at it. <laughs> barbecue chicken, he beat. He yeah, you beat. know what he, he is. Toast, bro. He play man by himself. He beat. Toast. Barbecue. Yeah. Toast. Kyle Fuller, Patrick Peterson, Jalen Ramsey. I'm Jaylen tripping. Jalen Ramsey, Darius Denzel. Slay, and I go. Uh, um, we can go Stephon Gilmore. Yeah, you Stephon know what? Gilmore. Okay. Ramsey is a big boy too. Yeah, yeah Jalen. He he, he he good. He thick. Like I, he I can run. He yeah, got, all, he got yeah, all the tools. I didn't know he was that that big. He, yeah. Big boy. He got yeah, all he the run. tools. He definitely can run. Got you. And he ain't scared either. Yeah, he a dog. He ain't scared to miss the jam. He ain't scared yeah, he a dog. Confident. Yeah. yeah. So we do another thing on this uh, on the show. We call call it the social status segment, where somebody uh, might have uh, on Twitter or, or on Instagram might have DM'd you something or just went crazy, you know, as far as trying to get at you, talk about your game or family, whatever it is. Do you have any stories like that you want to share? Any reaction, whether it's positive something. or negative, to like social media trolls? Um, yeah. We I know they still out think there. I'm a dang. I say they would. Uh, I still get tweets all the time. Uh, made a glass, injury prone. Wow, but I didn't play three years in a three row. Three years, sixteen, 16 straight. Right, Y'all right, still talking right. about that, man? Right. Do you, so, do you say that back to him? No, nah, I just let just it ride. Let I let it ride because hey, you definitely can come out here next year and get hurt, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah back, guess what they gonna say? I told you. Right. Right. So I nah, I leave it alone. But uh, have you ever clapped back on Twitter? Oh no, nah, I didn't clap back for sure. Give it. Give us one. Give us an example. Uh, just the top tens when they give me a top ten and I'm eight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Seven. Okay. I, don't I know like that it. one. Oh, so you're going against the networks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm going against. Well, he went against uh, Madden, right? Because didn't Madden? Oh yeah, have Madden gave me an 89 rating. Yeah, I felt you on two that, Pro Bowls though. in a row, and I'm an 89. What's happening? You yeah. got to do three. You got to get three. <laughs> I just got three. 
Jesus. That shit better be 94 <laughs> better plus. Be, right? So 94 what, plus. 94, that's what you want to be this year on Madden? I don't want to be a 94. I need to be the 96. Yeah, I'm, yeah okay. Because yeah. I know Madden ain't going to give me no speed, so it's hard to have your overall up without no speed. So Right. So they giving you J. Cole game on Madden. What that mean? You look like J. Cole. You look like J. Cole. So they get, they think, they, uh, man, he looks look like, like J. Cole. He don't play. He's yeah. an artist. Yeah, <laughs> man. You put the tape on, Madden. And put the tape on. Y'all heard him. Give the, give my man a 96, Madden. Come on. Mm -hmm. 2000, what? 2020. And Ocho's Madden. the Madden adjuster now. He's the ratings adjuster. So I definitely holler. Oh, Ocho. Oh, well, you need to Come get on, at him, man. man. I, I talked to him very, uh, very, uh, what was the Often? word I'm looking for? Can, Tough. Call, uh, I put FaceTime it on it. Ocho, man. FaceTime, man. see if we, see if we can get his I Madden rating. I put it rating. on See if we can get his Madden rating up right quick, man. I'm going to calling. So he's, so he's the one that does the Madden rating for us. Yeah, he's the oh, man adjuster this year. Wow. I told him, man. Hey, yeah, you gotta be, with me, T.O. Yeah, you got to be about a 90, minimum 94. Minimum. Minimum 94. Minimum, man. See, see if he, if he, my man picks. Esteban. Oh! Yeah. Hey, yo, Man, I can't see you. <laughs> oh, you and me both. Hey, I got I got your man Keenan Allen right here. He's upset, bro. You know his. Uh, I heard you the Madden adjuster. You like the insurance guy. You know you the insurance adjuster. I'm gonna get him right. I'm gonna get him right. Oh, here I he told, is right here. I told him we talked at the Pro Bowl. Look, he got his headset on. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, he got to be at least a 97, 98, dog. Listen, I'm gonna get him together. I'm gonna get him Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, get, hey, he's right here. He's going to get your popcorn ready with myself and Hatch, man. We just here chopping it up. I like it. I like it. I'm going to get out there to L.A., man, so I can get on there. All right. We just wanted to holler at you, man. Hey, man, we just wanted to come chime in, man. Hey, 97, hey, 98, don't he, play. He While said, we playing, he, we forgot him on that list, though. Oh, oh yeah, Chad, we forgot him on that hey, list. Chad, no, Chad hey. is sorry, man. He's terrible. <laughs> his, feet, his feet slow. He's ugly. Hey, oh hey. Chad, Chad. Hey, who your top three wide receivers list? Where you at on there? Out of three. Uh, and that's a good question. I'm not sure. You know, I'm, I'm, sitting, I'm sitting here playing FIFA. I'm gaming right now. I'm in, 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 the, in the middle of the game. Okay. We don't care about that you game. Are, you hey, you hey, got a pause hey, button hey, on man, that he, thing, he, dog. He, he asked you a question, man. <laughs> Don't be that trying to hand on the list. Don't, don't stray away from the question. He ain't on the list. You ain't on the list? Well, give us your top. Give us your top three. Yeah, give us your top three. You got me on pause. Who's calling? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, my top three receivers right now? And, yeah. Uh, Mike Evans. Yeah. Uh, or all, overall, all time. All time. All time. Oh man, he he in that game. No, you can tell. He in that game. He in that game. Focus. Look at you. We'll holler at you, dog. All right, man. We'll holler at you. Go. Uh, he in that game. So you you a gamer, right? Yeah. You a mm -hmm. video gamer, right? How many how many uh how, how many hours a week you giving to that game? A week? Yeah. Uh, I'm probably about eight hours a week. Eight hours a week. Yeah. 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 I'm on at least six hours a day. There it is. All of what Madden. Yeah, I play everything. I'm Madden. 2K, uh, Fortnite, Call of Duty. What's your What's your internet name on the somebody? Agent play Slay, with Agent underscore Slay. There it is. Y'all want to play Keenan Allen? Thirteen Y. Y'all want to play Keenan Allen? Some Madden, some Call of Duty, or or what is the other one? Fortnite. Fortnite. There it is. Y'all get online. There it is. Get your popcorn ready with your boy Keenan Allen. Holla! Yeah. Yep. yep. Yes, Subscribe sir. on the Himalaya app or wherever you get your podcast. Yes, sir. Be sure to swipe up. And share because sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Yeah, we want to thank our man uh, Keenan Allen for coming out, man. We appreciate you, bro. Yeah, I appreciate it. Good yes, luck, sir. Yes, sir. Good luck. Go get that money, baby. Oh, we'll do already. Guaranteed. Yes, guaranteed. Guaranteed money. Exactly. Money. NFLPA guaranteed money. Yeah, get your mind right. Everything else should be secondary. And back here on Get Your Popcorn Ready podcast with your host Hatch and my boy T.O. right here. We got this what three and out segment coming up. Three and out segment regarding your boy Keenan Allen. So tell us what the three and out segment for the people that's just tuning in. Some of you guys may be regulars, but we might have some new. We got some new news out there. We got, we got, yeah, some, we got new some new news. newness. Oh, we got some new people yeah. tuning in to the to the podcast. So they might not know what three and out the three and out segment is. So just kind of give them a little. So when we do our three and out segment. It's uh, we we picked three topics that we were kind of moved 
by from our guests. Like I said, something we really want to get into depth with uh, regarding our guests. I know one of them today was for me regarding Keenan Allen. Keenan Allen was his uh, his new businesses, right? right? Infinity dealership and a BMW, BMW. De- de- dealership. And again, we're always on the show talking about how athletes and entertainers like to cross over and they're doing other things. They're regular people. Um, you just so you see them in this one light, but they're regular people doing other things. And we love for athletes to be doing more than just being an athlete. Right. And again, to have a two car dealerships, you know, at this younger age, oh, yeah. you know, it's very impressive. Oh yeah, no doubt. Um, definitely tells you kind of where today's you know athlete is mm-hmm. you know you think about um you know guys that are being a little bit more business mind minded um, having having a lot of business acumen and then you see you've seen that um you know especially NBA uh, a lot of the tech companies uh, these guys are involving themselves with mm-hmm. um even some uh, some some actors uh, some entertainers and you think about what Ashton Kutcher uh has done um, what Steph Curry is doing um, with some of uh, uh, his his off the field business, but I think um, for me, what was interesting um, uh, about him is his interest in music. Yeah, uh, that was, was another one. Yeah, that was and, another one. And I didn't know. Like I said, I thought it was just kind of like maybe behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. Like he's an actual. Artist. artist and and he's singing. He's not rapping. Like I said, we done seen a lot of the football guys with the tougher mentality. I'm a rapper, son. Like you know A B, saying A B and uh, Le- Le- Le'Veon Bell. A B, um, you know, put some stuff out there. They, they should do a duo, a duet or something together. You what, what would what would it be called? Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> The no, remix, yeah, yeah. the remix. Right. I, I, honestly, I don't know. I'm no, just we know that's your boy. I'm it's all kidding. jokes on here on on Get Your Popcorn Ready podcast. No, no, we just I, messing around. Yeah, y'all. yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I I've heard uh, AB spit some bars a little bit. I know mm-hmm. he was on a Breakfast Club and they asked him to uh, put 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 some bars together. He Did he do bar- anything? He could bar- barely put two or three bars all together. Right, all right. And okay. then he kind of shied away. They asked him to freestyle. That's what it was. Oh, that, yeah. Oh, hey. Mm-mm. They oh, asked. We, him, we asked Ken to freestyle too. He went so. I Artists know, ain't gonna do that. But A B, he attempt like he started out. He just didn't he just didn't go. He, he didn't commit. He didn't no, commit to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. He he wasn't long <laughs> with it. Like he started out good. Like it yeah. started nice. Yeah. But then he kind of just uh and then just kind of just let off the gas a little bit. But he started out, like, it was fresh the first okay. All right. few bars or so. I'm gonna check you out, A B. When you come on the show, you better have your bars ready, A B, because we go put put it yeah. to a test for sure. So that's number two. Yeah. That's number, number two. Being, um being a musician, and, being an and, artist. And again, I think for I don't know if it's going to be the first time, but I'm going to check my, um, you know, check my facts. But if he's on his third, he just made three Pro Bowls in a row. If he makes four Pro Bowls like this coming year, 2020, makes another Pro Bowl and going into your free agent year, I think that's going to be the first receiver to ever be doing that. Oh, really? To go four Pro Bowls in a row and go into your free agency year. So, again, I think that's it's very impressive to make three, as you know, again, with the longevity and him being healthy. Um, but to make four, like I said, I think he's going to do it. But then oh, to yeah. also hit free agency, then he he about to break the bank. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, make three and then ooh, four in a row. Four in How a many row. did you make? Oh, my bad. My mm. bad. That's a source. I, you didn't make four neither. You didn't make four in a row. Nah, nah. I died. But you wait, don't, don't, I eat, make don't, four wait, in a row. don't eat popcorn I, now. That but you I can't made know. six, though. And you made I six made total? Six. Yeah, I went. I took that Hawaii trip, baby. Free. Yeah, I went, I went to Hawaii twice. <laughs> I went with Larry Fitzgerald. <laughs> I didn't. Well, I watched. his bags? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, I had, a, yeah, I had his backpack. Man, that's terrible, dog. You don't be carrying people's bags and stuff. No one carrying no bags, chump. Man, forget y'all. But, know, but it was about. nice over there. It was a good time. Hey, Hawaii, man. But they don't even have the Pro Bowl in Hawaii no more. I know. Hanukuku, just... baby. We was at the Ihilani Resort, baby. You weren't doing nothing. No, I was enjoying that sunshine, boy. I was getting blacker, boy. I needed a tan. <laughs> And there you have it on Get Your Popcorn Podcast. Subscribe on the Himalaya app or wherever you get your podcast. Yeet! Yep, yep. yep.